The Trans-Canada Trail inspires Canadians of all ages to get active and stay fit, preserving our green space, promoting conservation, and encouraging activity as part of a healthy lifestyle. Experience all the benefits the Trans-Canada Trail can offer you and your family. And join Canadians coast to coast in support of the world's longest, grandest recreational trail in the world. Support the Trans-Canada Trail in crossing the finish line of this remarkable undertaking. Visit tctrail.ca today. Queen's University engineering students recently toured Brockville's historic railway tunnel as part of a plan to reopen it to the public. On Sunday, December 4th, close to 50 second-year engineering students toured Canada's first railway tunnel, helping with an engineering report and study. The city has Stan Tech and Inspect Soul engineering firms in to assess the tunnel's safety for public use. Tunnel Committee Chair and City Councilor David Lesseur said that Queen's University is happy to find a teaching tool with possible projects and assignments coming from its uses and Brockville is happy that Queen's can help with the project going forward. A structural engineering inspection was completed by the geological engineering firm of Stantec. This report reflects the work required to be done to refurbish and recondition the tunnel and make it usable to the public. The Inspect Soul engineering firm is concluding its testing to confirm the scope and cost of repairs to the tunnel and that report should be in the hands of the committee very soon. The idea of developing the tunnel as a tourist attraction is not a new one. As far back as 1974 the city was talking about the tunnel being developed, issuing its first report saying that the tunnel should be developed and used as a tourist attraction. Some of the new ideas include parking, vendors or other activities at the north end where there is two acres of vacant land. Also having a train that people can ride through the tunnel to the river and take in the many attractions in downtown Brockville. Construction of the tunnel began in September 1854 but was not open for rail traffic until December 31, 1860. The tunnel was built to facilitate the Brockville and Ottawa Railway linking the port facilities on the St. Lawrence River shipping routes with the timber trade of the Ottawa Valley. The rail line through the tunnel was used by special height shortened diesel trains into the early 1970s. The rails and ties were then sold and the railway tunnel was no longer used as it was built. In the 1980s, the tunnel was turned over to the city of Brockville by Marathon Realty, the real estate wing of Canadian Pacific Railway. The city opened the first 85 feet of the southern section of the original tunnel as a tourist attraction later. There is still much to be done before the entire tunnel is open to the public. The committee is now waiting for the engineer's report and will move on from there, plus searching for funding will have to be done as well. The Tunnel Advisory Committee is working on a business plan and vision for the tunnel. They have a new website as well, BrockvilleRailwayTunnel.com. They are doing a review and plan for refurbishing the tunnel and the cost involved. Also working on a landscape plan for the northern end of the tunnel, as well as a fundraising plan. In Brockville, Dale Elliott, BN TV News.